evening. Welcome to the um, back to the garage. Um, I have in front of me here some 16 valviness. So I thought I'd just do a quick um, look over what has to happen to the uh, BMW cylinder heads for them to be fitted to the Mini. Um, I'll pull this out here. So this is what needs one. These are K1200 heads. So um, they have a slightly different point here with the uh, water bay, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I've not seen an 1100 head in the flesh. But there is a um, core plug sitting here and a uh, temperature sensor gets blood drilling here. So I've had both of them welded up. And um, also on the welding front, all of the waterways across the whole head have been welded up. The two drains have been welded up. There's three steam holes here. They've all been welded. And so on the end here, if I can see it, you've got a nice size plate is an eight mil plate or thereabouts has been welded in along this edge and a little double weld on there wasn't the end of the world if that doesn't get done but it you know it's a lot easier for it to be done and another one here here is where you'd have a stainless steel pin um for the tensioner um that it, it sort of runs into the top of the uh, waterway here so if you don't weld that up you can drill and tap it um, PTFE and all that sort of jazz, but it's just a bit easier to um, weld that bad boy up. So that, I mean, literally that is the head mods that are required. That plate welded in, weld up, all of these, all of them. And because I'm doing a dry deck, obviously this is why the waterways are welded up. The end as well. Obviously I'm saying this is the way you do it. This is the way I am doing it. I've seen a few other ways of people doing it. Um, I looked at the, how specialist components do it. I've seen some of the DIY builds, some of the guys in Australia. I've looked at lots and lots of pictures and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this. So this is what I'm doing. Um, so that is the modifications that need to be done. And then after you've had that done, the machining work. So this is starting to look a bit like a uh, something out of a specialist components catalogue now. So this end here has been machined flat with the, uh, the face here. So you literally, I can run a, put the, the plate on that seals um, the cam gear in place and a bit of bead of RTV around there and that will seal up nicely. The head's obviously got to be flushed, otherwise all those welds would be sitting proud. Um, and you need a couple of what You see, you need, there are a few people now saying, that you actually you can get away without having these tapped for drains. Um, specialist components say you tap these for 38 BSP. Um, these are and it, originally on the bike, the head sits this way up. So the oil comes in, drains down, and comes out these two holes. Um, you've also got a chain and some drainage going on on this side. In the mini, obviously, it sits vertically. So you. I've gone with some slightly bigger drains. Um, these are, I think they were half inch BSP. Um, it's about as big as I could get within that original casting. So I think that's onto a 22 mil or a 20 mil pipe. Um, so 38 BSP goes onto a 10 mil pipe. I've pretty much doubled that. Uh, reason I've done that is some people have found that when you run high RPM and things like that, you can end up, the, the pistons blow by a bit and you end up blowing oil back up into the head. Um, which, you know, on a head that wasn't designed to go on a Mini, isn't ideal. Um, so I've also got on this end, I've taken the core plug out here. Again, some people have a piece welded on here. I decided to pop the core plug out and I found a nice stainless steel screw fitting and I can't decide whether to run the straight one um, or I've also got a 90 degree angle obviously it would be a bit of a pig getting this fitted once this is in place but again this is removable a lot of people have this and that just welded on as hose hose tails I wanted to go with um, physical um, retention because I just prefer it that way but yeah this 
breathe out if I stand it up on its face. I know I shouldn't, but it'll be sitting on the car like this. I can have this pipe coming back this way and into the uh, into this breather, which will be on the clutch case, or which will be sitting somewhere around here. Whether it's um, the 90 degree or the straight fitting, I haven't decided. But also, because I'm running a dry deck, I've got uh, this waterway fitted on here. So I'm gonna put a little rubber um, ring around here for sealing. I'll probably RTV it as well, just for, for good measure. because I don't want water coming out of these um, two securing holes. But, there we go. Here we have the gearbox with the block just resting on the top. Don't get excited, the engine's not ready to go. But you know, I even ended up annoyingly tearing the gasket. So I've just ripped, there's a gap there now, as you can see. Um, so yeah, these two drains will come down to here. I'll probably tee them into one. Down I might even do two, both let them drain off that way. And then um, we've got, the waterway is gonna go from there to there. Um, the block that I'm gonna use has already had the um, hole tapped, the holes tapped for this. So literally it's just a case of fit the pipe on, or fit that one, fit the pipe on, job done. Um, this, I'm still sort of like figuring out what I've got to do. I've got a different, um, just a hose tail to put on here that's the same size as this, so I could, run that straight in and then put a, like a filler cap on, because that's one thing you don't get with this, because you're a bit limited on height, is a filler cap, and I'm running the K1200 head, which is a magnesium cover. So um, yeah, that doesn't tend to like being welded as much. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're looking, and um, there's every chance. I'm also gonna put over here, on the plate that goes here, this nice big 24 mil drain. Um, and I'll possibly go down to here, but I'll also tee that off into a catch tank. So I'll, I don't know whether I'll probably feed from this side into the head with maybe an oil filler, just a separate screw on one. And I'll go, let it breathe across the head and then out to a catch tank on the cam belt side, but with a T that can also drain. That's kind of where I'm at with it. But I mean, as for like these being too big. I think these are the same size nut as you'd get on a 3.8 BSP. But, you know, you can see there is just about enough clearance there. It's gonna be a bit tight getting a hose on and getting it down. I've still got to come up with something here. I have got the um, Metro Turbo drain, but I don't think that's gonna be adequate really. Not for that size of pipe. But um, yeah, that's kind of what, what it looks like. Look, I can I can now spend a bit of time, I'll change this breather out and um, put on my hose tail and then I can start figuring out hose lengths and drains and um, quite exactly what I'm gonna do. This is just a good view around. I might put the 90 degree hose on here, have it go over here, but I, I thought that would work line up better. But actually you've got quite a bit of a gap here. So having the hose tail coming off there, we may well be able to put a uh, and I, you know, a double bend, like an S bend and down onto a hose tail here, something like that. So you've got the U bend there. One of the other things that I have seen people do on the K head is actually if, if oil gets into this part, it's got to fill up and flood around here before it can go anywhere. Um, there's no actual natural drainage again because the head is supposed to be on its side. So what um, some people do is they drill through the bottom of these all the way down. Because you get to here, you've got the drains. And again, you can go all the way through and you could do the same on this side, just with a really long drill bit all the way through the block. So um, that's something I'm gonna, this block through the head. Um, so that's something I've got to look into. It doesn't appear to be essential, um, but extra oil drainage for the head. Can't be a bad thing, can it? So um, there we are. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take some pictures of this, chuck them on the Instagram, and um, at some point I'll try and edit this together so that you can all look at it. Any questions, 
fire away in the comments below. Um, if this is the YouTube video you're watching, please come and find me on uh, Instagram. I am uh, Nix underscore projects. That's Nix projects, but with an underscore in between. Um, so I post up a lot more pictures of what's going on with the build on there. Um, I am at the minute just gathering pieces together. I'm not ready to put this engine together, but you're going to kind of follow me on the journey of um, putting the 16 valve lump together. I've had the block modified um, and now the heads are more or less done. There's a few things I've got to get done on the car before I can then get it back on its wheels so I can then get the engine in place. So um, yeah, it's going to be a journey, but I want to take you along with me. So um, yeah. If this is the YouTube, please like and subscribe. If this is the uh, Instagram video, um, hello, thank you for following, and um, please see my other pictures for more stuff, or go and look at my YouTube. Uh, my YouTube is uh, just my name, youtube.com slash Nick Thornhill. So, um, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.